Hello and welcome to this video on using sine, cos or tan to find the missing side of a triangle. Now before I get into the rules that we can use for sine, cos and tan we need to know two things. The first is that these rules only work if we are using a right angle triangle. So I can tell this triangle is a right angle triangle because it's got this little square in the corner which means that's a 90 degree angle therefore it's a right angle triangle. The other thing we need to know is how to label the sides of the triangle, right? So usually in the questions you'll be given an angle, okay? In this case it's x degrees, okay? And we call that the given angle. It's x degrees because this is just like a generic triangle. The side opposite the given angle, okay? We call that side the opposite. Very easy to remember, yeah? Opposite the given angle is opposite. The side that's opposite the right angle we call the hypotenuse. So I'll write hype, okay? And the hypotenuse also happens to be the longest side of the triangle. And finally, the side next to the given angle, we call the adjacent. Okay. And the way I like to remember this is I find the opposite side, I find the hypotenuse, and so the only side that's left over has to be the adjacent. So now we know that, let's have a look at these rules. So the first one is that if I do sine, Okay, so sine is just a button on your calculator. Okay, it's something that gives you a number. So sine of x, so sine of the given angle, okay, that will be equal to, that will tell me the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, the other one is cos of the given angle, okay, is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And finally, tan of the given angle will give us the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, okay? So these are three things that you do have to remember, but you'll have probably been told about Sokotoa, which is an easy way to remember it. So I'll write it down here. So we've got the Sokotoa, okay? And the way this helps us remember is, well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse and tan is the opposite divided by the adjacent. So I think the best way to learn this or remember it's just practice questions so I'm going to give us three questions that give you the three examples. So let's take a look at this one and I'll bring the Sokotoa over here too. So you can see here we've got a right angle triangle okay with two or one side one angle and a missing side. So I'm instantly going to think I'm going to label this triangle okay that's going to help me out. So Here's my given angle. In this example, it's 35 degrees. And the side opposite that, so the one over here, is what we call the opposite, okay? So I'm gonna write opposite. The one opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, so this side here, which leaves me with the adjacent over here. So let's think, which sides am I interested in, okay? Well, I know the opposite side, and I know the hypotenuse, so they're the two sides I'm interested in. So let's go to our Sokotoa and see which part of that might help me. So we've got sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the opposite, opposite and the hypotenuse. So I'm going to be using sine. So let me write that out. We've got sine of our angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And now I'm just going to fill in the blanks of this using my picture. So sine of my angle, well, my angle is 35 degrees. So I'm going to write sine of 35 degrees, okay, that's going to be equal to my opposite side, which is 20 centimeters, divided by the hypotenuse, which I don't know, so it's x. And you can see here, I've got an equation. So I want to solve this equation to find x, okay, and here's how I could do that. I could times both sides by x, so I'll write it here, times by x, times by x, and if I do that, I'll get x multiplied by sine 35 and that equals 20 and now to get x on its own I could divide both sides by sine 35 so let's divide both sides by sine 35 so divide by sine 35 and that gives us x is equal to 20 divided by sine 35 and I'm just going to use my calculator and I'm just going to put it in so 20 divided by sine 35 and that gives me x is equal to 34.87 to two decimal places. So that means that this side here, the hypotenuse, is going to be 34.87 centimeters.
and that's it's that easy right might look confusing if you haven't seen sign before but really it's just rearranging an equation that's all we're doing let's take a look at another example <clears throat> this time we've got another right angle triangle and let's label it up so we've got this side is my opposite okay uh, this side is my hypotenuse which leaves this side here as my adjacent now let's think which sides of this triangle am I interested in well the adjacent and the hypotenuse so let me write out Sokotoa again so which part of Sokotoa am I interested in well sine is opposite over hypotenuse so not that one cos is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse and that's the sides that I've got so I'm interested in the cos so let me write that out cos of my angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse and again we're just going to fill in the blanks so cos of 50 because my angle is 50 is equal to the adjacent side which is x divided by the hypotenuse which is 10 now I want to rearrange this to make x the subject so to do that I can times both sides by 10 and if I do that I get 10 times cos 50 or 10 cos 50 is equal to x so I'm just going to put that into my calculator and see what I get so 10 times cos 50 and I get x is equal to to two decimal places 6.43 so my missing side x is 6.43 centimeters let's look at one final example here so again label the triangle up so this is my opposite the longest side is my hypotenuse or the one opposite the right angle which leaves the last one as the adjacent so again let's write out so ka toa and see which part we're interested in so i have the adjacent side and the opposite side so i am interested in if let's have a look sine is opposite over hypotenuse no cos is adjacent over hypotenuse no tan is opposite over adjacent that's what i'm interested in so tan of my angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent so let's fill in the blanks <clears throat> so we get tan of 70 degrees is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side which is 5 to get x on its own I can times both sides by 5 and if I do that I get 5 multiplied by tan 70 is equal to x and again I'm going to put that into my calculator and see what I get and to two decimal places, I get that x is equal to 13.74 centimeters. And that's it. That's how we can use uh, sine, cos, and tan to find the missing side of a right angle triangle. Hopefully that helped. Uh, let me know any questions in the comments. Go over to my channel for more tutorials or go over to my TikTok uh, for worked exam questions.